Did you enjoy that closed beta launch of Cosmic Champs? Well, guess what? The game's coming back next week, and we've got all the updates on today's episode of Frugal DC. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Frugal BC. As you know, Cosmic Champs is one of the projects that we are following on the Algorand blockchain. It is a play-to-earn game, or at least it will be a play-to-earn game where you can actually earn while you're playing, and it has NFTs as well. We tested it out a little while back. We tested out the Android version on the closed beta. To get into the closed beta, you needed to have one of the first season NFTs, and then you needed to uh, you need to have an Android phone, and then you need to get the pass when they sent it out too. So we've got all that. We tried it out. I got to say, for a beta, the game played really well. Uh, it was very limited, we found out, so there's there's a lot more stuff coming for the game. And we're just going to break down some of the updates because they released uh, an update today. The game is coming back next week. So let's uh, let me look at some of the things coming up. Yeah, first off, the closed beta is going to be coming in the second half of next week. And once it's online again, they're planning to keep it online. So it's going to it's going to stay stay online. Once the, the first one was just they had it up for about a day just to test it out so they could fix some bugs. And now it's going to be back. And the plan is just to keep it keep it going. So uh, should be coming this sometime in the second half. So it could be like I, 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 my, my bet's on a Friday. That's what I'm thinking. TGIF, it's Friday, one week from when I'm recording this. I don't know when you're watching. You might be watching later, but uh, yeah, so a lot of people are asking about the iOS versions, including myself. To play the game, I had to borrow my sister's old Android phone and like kind of wipe it out, kind of like put all my passwords, and it, it was it was a lot of work to get that thing going. But I had to bring you guys a I had to bring you guys a review, so that's that. Uh, before I go any further, uh, full disclosure, I did receive an NFT from Cosmic Champs. They're not a sponsor, but they wanted to send that because they said they like my videos. I told them I would only take it as long as they knew that it would get them no special favors. I'm always going to give them an honest review uh, and that I disclosed that. And so I'm doing that right now. They're very okay with that. Uh, they like... Uh, I, I appreciate that when a project is okay with, you know, the critiques because I've been, you know, I, I, I've, I've taken a few dings at them, you know, where they where they deserved it, but mostly I've been pretty happy with Cosmic Champs and been using that pool in Tiny Man to earn some rewards every day. Uh, plus, you know, you get Cosmic Gold when you hold the first season NFTs once a month. Uh, people ask about NFTs. Well, pretty soon in the following weeks, they will roll out updates that will bring your NFT champs into the game. Uh, the order of unlocking them, I'm just reading right from their update. The order of unlocking them will be from the lowest rarity and up to have the most common U skins tested first. We'll provide more specific details about the exact rollout shortly. So I think I have one of the more common ones. So hopefully I'll be able to use it. But then I think I think uh, I think the one they sent me is a little bit higher level. It at least looks a little more powerful. Uh, and then they they have season two NFTs coming out, champs on uh, non NFT champs. Excuse me. So there'd be a little more variety, freedom in the game. I thought the strategy was pretty in depth already because you had some, you had you had different. Uh, it's it's kind of like a real time strategy game, like Command and Conquer, but maybe a little more simplified than that. And you kind of have a mana system where your energy bar is going up, and as it goes up, it unlocks more and more champs that you can throw out. It's kind of a capture because it's kind of a, a tower defense sort of a capture the flag sort of a game. So very much like the old Command and Conquer, if you ever played that or. Uh, probably starcraft i didn't play that as much and uh there was some uh apparently there was some feedback about the arena shape so they're going to be changing that as well uh some of the units would get stuck at the narrow parts i think i remember that happening I, I, actually now that they mentioned it, i just kind of assumed like see it's hard to know when you're testing a game like is this part of the game or is it you know is, is did i do something wrong so that my characters got stuck is, is that part of that like a trap in the game or is it a bug you know i didn't really know so by the way, guys, there is a way to play the game on Windows. If you go to medium.com backslash cosmic hyphen champs, um, you can find there's there's a guide to the game and you can find out how to play it. It's sort of an unofficial guide, <laughs> but you can find how to play it on Windows too. Yeah, that is for Windows. But it's kind of funny. Everyone's like pointing was pointing me towards that. I'm like, so you think that I have an Apple phone, but you think I have a Windows desktop? 
Is this what you think? Well, I have Apple everything. So uh, yeah, apparently they fixed a lot of bugs, you know, so they've been working on these bugs. Um, they introduced the Tertius Army. Uh, the app notifies users when an update is available. Uh, user account creation form and user login from validation messaging improved. Global mute sounds buttons added. Email is now masked on the lobby screen. It's probably a good idea. Uh, matchmaking changed to uh, searching for an opponent. Yeah, it's just a lot of little, th these are all the little things that you have to, you know, you have to think about when you develop something like this. So overall, uh, very happy with the, very happy with Cosmic Champs. I, I thought the game played really well. And I'm very excited about it. Like, we need good news in the Algorand ecosystem. As you know, a lot of stuff going on that's not so positive these days. And so being able to at least have this game that's coming out that's really holds promise and seems to be working is a good is a good sign. Now, you know, one of my policies on the channel is I typically don't talk about stuff that isn't out, but uh, Cosmic Champs has kind of been an exception just because it is such an important part of the ecosystem. Uh, it, it will, it will, it's such a major development in the Algorand world that I felt like we have to cover. There's a lot of games coming out on Algorand, by the way. So, you know, don't think that Cosmic Champs is alone. It just happens to be probably the most developed, biggest one. Uh, I have been playing uh, the, the new version of Alchemon is out, and that game is quite good. Uh, some of the games I'm looking at, actually, I have been playing Algo Seas, but that's more of a it's hard to even call that a game really but you should you should look into it it's kind of interesting uh zone zone which has a bunch of mini games i've been playing some of those not super fan of the new games they put out i like the older ones better but i understand that they're uh they're, you know they're updating these things periodically but yeah alchemo is probably on the top one and then there's one called trantorian i want to give you a look at this game really quick just i know we're a little bit off topic but I think this is really cool. So take a look at this. This is Trantorian. I'm going to show this to you because look at this. It looks a lot like EVE Online, doesn't it? Not that I played that game, I looked into it, I've heard it's a really, really involved, and it's like, well, am I going to get super duper involved into this game that I don't really have time to play that doesn't even have a blockchain element? I'm not sure. At least play to own, right? So anyway, I don't want to uh, belabor, the, belabor the point, but that, I think that game looks really cool. That's coming out on Algorand. It's good because uh, it's been a little. I've been a little frustrated with the blockchain games lately, especially with what's going on with Townstar. That has been probably my most frustrating game. The, still, as far as I know, they still have not turned on the earn mechanism, and they seem to keep spell, spending or selling really, really expensive NFTs. Yet they want to make you feel bad for <laughs> expecting to earn some money on those really expensive NFTs. But I digress. Anyway, good news for Cosmic Champs. Looking forward to this game. Uh, did you guys play the open or the closed beta? Or are you, uh, are you just chomping at the bit to play the, the open beta coming up next week? Let me know in the comments below or let me know what Algorand games or other blockchain games you're either playing now or excited about. Love to hear about that. Anyway, uh, guys, stay safe out there. You know, I'm I'm gonna add this to my end clip every time now. Not your not your keys, not your crypto. Make sure you get off decentralized exchanges as much as possible. Maybe use them for maybe use them for uh, for on ramps, and that's off on and off ramps, and that's about it. Otherwise, I'm Frugal BC. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the future.